Hey Bobcat Nation, want to know what it's like to be a senior nursing student in the spring 2021 semester? I'll show you in this Quinnipiac Day in the Life. My name is Morgan Lenarati and I'm a senior nursing student at Quinnipiac. I'm from Roseau Park, New Jersey, and I'm excited for you to spend the day with me. First up, we're going to have a stop at Duncan and a carpool with our friend Charles. We like to carpool so we don't have to drive to North Haven by ourselves. I always knew I wanted to be a nurse since around fourth grade because my mom was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. And she is one of the strongest person I know. And I've watched a really horrible disease really knock her down, but she had an amazing healthcare and amazing family that helped her fight all along and to this day. And I wanted to be that healthcare person for someone else. We got our coffee. Now we're gonna take the quick 10 minute drive over to North Haven for our first class of the day. We are just about to walk into our nursing 432 class. Essentially, it's a nursing leadership class. This is kind of where we transition from nursing specific material classes to kind of like the life beyond college nursing. So nursing's not all just IVs and medications and all of that. It's part of being a, a part of being the healthcare team and you have to sit on boards and help with quality management and that's what Professor Fusco teaches us about. She teaches us about helping hospitals and being a part of the healthcare team. We talked a lot about quality improvement and how as nurses we take an important role in all of that and um, just kind of what to expect when we get into the nursing field. I'm here with Dr. Fusco. What's your favorite thing about Quinnipiac nursing? I'm impressed by the caliber of students that we have here and the way that they work off of each other and I feel like that, in addition to the clinical sites that they get access to, really sets our nurses up to be at a much higher level when they graduate than a typical nursing student. At this point, we're gonna go find a nice place to study and uh, catch up on some work. For right now, we're gonna hang out in the North Haven Cafe for a little while. It is a nice place to do some casual studying. So I like to take this time. Sometimes I rent errands, sometimes I go to the gym. Um, today I have some assignments and some training that I need to catch up on. So I'm gonna work on that. So the first thing that I'm gonna work on is we take a capstone class. And what we're working on is our signature work which is an assignment that kind of reflects on something to do with the healthcare field and reflects on kind of our like whole career here at Quinnipiac. Something else that I'm going to be working on during this little bit of time in between classes is my renewal for my CPR. Something as simple as offering CPR classes right here on campus is something that Quinnipiac has done to really help aid in our education and our accessibility to the services we need and because CPR is something that before we participate in clinical or before we enter the workforce we have to have it um, and it makes you a more marketable nurse entering the profession. I think it is a good time to have some lunch. So here at North Haven campus we have the Outstakes which is a little grab-and-go station. They have different things like beverages, they even have some bulk items that you can take with you. They have sandwiches and sushi that comes made fresh every morning from the sushi place on the main campus. It is a great place to get a snack in between class or if you're studying here to get lunch. It's open 24 hours a day so you just decide what you want you scan it and then you swipe your card. And if you've run out of meal points, it takes debit cards. So it's really accessible to everyone that comes to the North Haven campus. It is now time for us to head to my 450 Holistic Nursing Lab. This is a sim-based class, so typically we are in the sim labs doing different simulations with patients and all of that. Today though is a skills day, so we are going to review very specific skills that we've learned before, but just that we might need to brush up on and make sure that we have very good understanding about it. So we finished the two skills that we're gonna do up here today, and at this point we are gonna head back downstairs so that we can do sub-Q and IM injections. One of the best things about the supplies that we have at Quinnipiac is it's all very real and it's the real things that you would be using if you were in the hospital setting. 
that was a fun class. It was a good chance for us to review some skills and that's really the main purpose of our lab is to teach us skills and how to apply our skills so that we can be the best nurses that we can possibly be. I am changing to my scrubs. So I'm going to do some HESI questions. Um, HESI is an NCLEX prep program that we had to purchase for this for the nursing program. And it is a bunch of practice questions. It's adaptive quizzing. So as we get questions right, it'll give us harder questions. But if we get something wrong, it'll give us more questions on that subject so that we can get a better understanding of it. I'm gonna pack up my stuff and head upstairs. There we're gonna meet um, the other students and the faculty to kind of give us the rundown and our rules of the sim that we're gonna be playing. I'm in one of the sim labs right now and this is our pediatric sim and his name's Hal and later on um, a classmate and I are going to be doing a sim where he's gonna have an asthma attack. We just finished our sim. So that closes out my time at North Haven for today. We're gonna head on back to the main campus. I could not have imagined going anywhere else for nursing school. I'm excited to graduate and I'm excited to step into my next journey as a nurse, but I will miss all of the people and all of the things that I've gotten to do here at Quinnipiac. Be sure to check out Quinnipiac's other day in the life so you can see Quinnipiac from all angles for yourself. And with that, I say goodnight and go Bobcats.